Hello, good people. Hello out there. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's perspective for Tuesday, March 21st, March 21st, 2017. I wanted to um, come and, and talk to you now. Okay, warning, warning, warning. For all the people who have always known what they wanted to do, I mean, they were two years old and they knew they wanted to be a firefighter and they grew up and they became a firefighter or they were, you know, they've never veered from the seven year old person who said, I want to be a nurse and I want to help people or fill in the blank with whatever it is. If you've always known what you've always wanted to do, this probably is not going to impact or touch you at all. <laughs> so I am only talking to those who are late bloomers. And I'm talking to those who work with late bloomers. Okay, so, so I was speaking at a career day with elementary students and one of the students, I was talking about my military career, and one of the students asked, did you always wanna be a Marine when you were growing up? And so, you know, when they ask you a question, questions aren't planted with elementary stu school students, you, I did a quick 30 second recap down memory lane and I realized that, no, I didn't. Actually, even though I grew up in a military family, I didn't even know women were in the Marine Corps. Okay, that's, that's how much I knew about the Marine Corps. I grew up Army. But here's the point. Um, what I wanted to do has changed venues dozens of times throughout the years. Dozens of times. So who I wanted to become has changed and it took on different formats. I remember, now I, <laughs> I always wanted to be an actress. When I was little, I just knew I was gonna be an actress. And then I found out I was watching all these people kissing everybody on TV and I said, oh no, I can't be married and kissing everybody. So I had to scrap the actress <laughs> from my list. And then I remember once we had a city, well, okay, I'm just going down memory lane. So just work with me for, for this evening. Hello, Rhonda. Um, I recall we had a citywide gong show back in Georgia, Augusta. And, and I'm not gonna call the names, but there were three of us up there. You know who you are. And we, I think it was Boogie Oogie Oogie. And we were, we had practiced our dance steps and I remember us being out in the front yard, getting all of our dance steps down, Pat. And <laughs> and the first, my first girlfriend got up there, did her verse. The crowd went wild. They were cheering and going on. And hey, Master Guns. And, um, and then it was my verse. I had about two words out of my mouth. And do you know they gonged me? <laughs> they gonged me, but I didn't give up the mic that fast. They had to like take it away. So I've always had like that flair for, you know, a ham, a little ham. And at one point I thought I wanted to be a teacher. I love teaching. Even throughout the my Marine Corps career, I was always put in positions where I was teaching. And I found out that I was not built for the formal classroom, even though I work with young people every week, middle and high schoolers predominantly every week. So what I'm saying is this, I'm telling these long stories and going down my memory lane because if you are, or if you are working with someone that doesn't seem to have it together, you know, they're solid with where they are. I'm not talking about trifling folks, okay? So I'm not talking trifling. and. You know, one week you're a jet mechanic and the next week you're a surgeon and you never stick with anything. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about the, the core of who you are hasn't really changed, but how it looks continues to vary. And I just want to encourage you. It is okay. It is okay um, for you not to know and not to have an entire life's plan mapped out for your career every step of the, the route. And you're you know, 21 years old and coming out of college or or you're 40 years old and you've got a career, but there's still a rumbling inside of not being satisfied and, and you're looking for more. It's okay. I used to be very harsh 
very judgmental with myself because I was judging. I saw everyone else who appeared to have it together and then who appeared to be um, so in tune with, with their careers and where they wanted to go and what they wanted to do with their life. And I just didn't feel like that. I was very successful with what I was doing. I loved being a Marine, was very successful in that lifestyle, but I knew that there was more. I knew there was something else. Um, and it just took me a long time to finally realize. So I'm, I, once I stopped comparing myself to everyone else who appeared to have it all together, um, what I realized that, you know, God was just simply building my resume of experiences. That's what was happening. And, and so I'm encouraging you, if you are a late bloomer, I say that in quotes because we are right on time. We are right on time. God is working things in your life and, and he has to have you have a certain experience level and have to develop certain skill sets as you go. So when you finally arrive at this place, you'll be fully prepared. Um, so don't be so harsh on yourself and recognize for all of us late bloomers out there, we are right on time. We really are right on time. So don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be so judgmental. Um, figure out who you are. And that takes a little time for some people. Okay. So until we meet again, take real good care of yourselves.